a lot of times when 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 this topic of pair bonding comes up, it's always um, slanted towards, oh, well, women shouldn't have so many partners because it keeps them from being able to bond with a potential mate or blah, 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 whatever. So I want to know, like, do you think that argument applies to, like, both sexes? And do you think that all these, you know, forays into relationships or whatever that we're we're doing more harm, you know, than not by trying to like, having these unsuccessful unsuccessful relationships, you know what I mean? Trying to find the one. And I'm telling you from a guy who's had a good amount of partners, you can compare. And it's like, damn, I don't want to be married to this because I know that <laughs> was out of this world. You know, you get different levels of tens now. So before, if you only had 10 partners, your level of 10 could really be Rico's level of five. But as you continue to process or progress throughout all of these pair bondings and, and sexual experiences, that level of 10 is now going higher and higher and higher. And it's usually with the ones that you're not going to want to keep. Right. right. So now the one that you want to keep is so far down on that sex pedestal for you. Right. That it's like, damn, I'm kind of sacrificing. And I realized that everybody does not want to sacrifice in the beginning. And that's the part where I think is detrimental. And, and I do think it applies to both sexes. It will be a challenge to find that one because you've been so accustomed to a certain lifestyle. So because I struggle with that myself, like been just having casual sex. And the only thing for some people, they don't enjoy it. Thank God yeah. I enjoyed all of mine. Because some people would have the casual <laughs> sex and they'd be like, damn, why did I do this? They feel like they regret it. I've never, most of the time, I hate that. regret it. Yeah. So it's thank like, God, ugh. you know. Um, but yeah, it, it, is, <laughs> it is something to uh, detox yourself from if you're trying to be committed. But my, 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 I'm going to throw this to you and then Aaron, whoever you could take after. It is hard to like... Ooh, to stay, it's a challenge to stay away from the casual because do you say, well, the only time I have sex when I'm in a relationship? And I, there are some people, what are people that don't, don't subscribe to that? Mm -hmm. You know, and, what, and also, I'm not an advocate for abstinence and I'm not not for it. That's whoever you want to choose. But for those people, like, I guess, are in between, like, what, what about those people? Right. It's, Really looking within to see, like, okay, am I willing to sacrifice the casual sex, the the instant gratification Facts. of finding a partner just to fuck, right? Or am I willing to be like, okay, I'm going to wait until I find somebody who is my equal, who is my partner, who I can really see a relationship with. Like, so you're kind of sometimes going through, okay, should I just focus on my physical needs while I'm trying to figure out the emotional stuff or focus only on the emotional until I can find that person? Wait, wait, wait. So does that mean that it makes sense to maybe have someone that you're having sex with um consistently on the side y'all got an understanding of what the situation is while you're out trying to find someone who you emotionally mentally etc cetera, etc cetera, et cetera, i mean can't connect with. that would be ideal however shit pops off in that in those like no strings attached relationships friends with benefits relationships right they can work if, again, the boundaries are set, we know we're not, you know, really looking into a full-fledged relationship. And sometimes somebody gets deeper emotions. All the or time. Things, things change in your lifestyle. So you need a little right. bit more and a little bit less. Depends on what it is. So, I mean, that would be the ideal situation. That shit is not realistic, I, I bro. Like it's it's Every time you sometimes. say no strings attached, if it's still going on for two years, now there's ropes. <laughs> like it, there are it ropes happens, it may not be long term right you may be yeah. able to create that dynamic you better but cut them it sometimes may not be able to go past a year or two but i wanted to say something to oliver right because when he was talking about the casual sex and it's hard to turn it down right i was the same exact way but i think that at some point and i'm not saying that you don't yeah as don't. a man you gotta value yourself mm -hmm. the more you value yourself as a man the less 
casual sex you're going to be having or you'll have casual sex with just you know a specific one two three however many people i agree a thousand percent you know what i'm saying and it's hard because as a dude we get praised you know what i'm saying if i could go ahead and hit one every day of the week yo, you get you get yo you hit you had a weekly roster <laughs> you're the goat right and it's cool to experience because i personally believe men do technically need to have a lot of sex with different women because it's hard to please a woman in bed and they need to learn the woman's an anatomy like the back of the hand and there's only one way to do that and that's through practice but practice with that woman though yeah but if but you don't got too much time nowadays in 2022 if you give her one week <laughs> one week night you might end up on the shade room <laughs> 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 but yeah you just gotta value yourself <laughs> he Don't. gave me the most trash dick in life <laughs> had the nerve to tell me to submit like that's thank that's, you that's, that's what <laughs> rico been yeah. seeing the group chats you been in your girlfriend phone <laughs> right you know nah, I, I don't want to <laughs> i just want to stay out of that <laughs> so, so wait you tell me if you don't put it down you can't respect them and he's good in every aspect. Oh my god! That's what y'all <laughs> no, say. It's no, not. Respect no, it's is not. earned in the bedroom, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, it's not. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Respect is earned in so many other yeah. facets. Okay, of your life. Yeah, the bedroom or the bank account. Those are the only two ways you no. get respect. Oh, there no. we go. You you met the one right, or close to the one, and he doesn't. He's not trash in bed, but he doesn't <laughs> put it down, and he's like. Real Sex can be learned. Thank what, you. What if this you guy You can a dunce? teach someone to, to have bedroom? better sex with you. What if he's a dunce in the what, bedroom? Wait, can, can you give us some him? tips on how to like how we do that? I'm still not good at math. So I'm letting you know right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 37. I'm still not good at math. There are classes. <laughs> Three plus take. two is <laughs> I'm a 17. summer school out there. <laughs> <laughs> You might just need more <laughs> hands-on rather than reading in a book right. or having somebody lecture to you. You might be good with more kinesthetic learning. Girl, That's you so like. patient. Hands-on. Yes. You got to be I'm patient use that. with it. Mm. <laughs> Touch like that. That's how I learn. So we got... <laughs> That's why you hire people like me, like sex therapists, to, you know, teach you that it can be whatever way you want sex to look you like. really think everyone on this earth yes is teachable <laughs> yes yeah no hell no Come I on, do. that's not duality. they're trainable I that's not do. duality okay <laughs> if it is, yeah. She's yes no but then that's not certified fair. Right, so, <laughs> so <laughs> and i'm and can i, I, I can i ask her a question please please, please let's ask. can i just i just gotta ask this question right what was the longest time it took one of your Patients, clients, mm -hmm. clients. I Cli use clients. Clients to, uh, to learn. <laughs> <laughs> that's the STD. That's actually a good question. That's a good question, though. I, and then I, also, I, what's the average learning time frame? It really ranges based off of how much work you're willing to put into it, right? And how open you are to being taught and you know open to different aspects of sexuality that maybe you never considered before but i would say the shortest amount of time was probably like three sessions that i had with a couple and the longest I i've worked with a couple for about two years <laughs> she's, what, what she really was trying to it's, say is it's a, it's a work in progress. she's still working exactly like, yeah like <laughs> did, you, it, it did they get it they like they get piece by piece wow. right and so they get something nah, and then they master hard. it and they love it and they're like okay let's take this a step further do you check uh, this is gonna be bad <laughs> hurry up yeah. and ask i got i was gonna say do you do you check like when they fill out their forms right <laughs> not the form do you check like you know what level of education that they might have had <laughs> that's a good point um, so that is, that is included in my forms, in my intake forms. I ask, you know, what level of education they have and what their careers are. Yeah. Yo, so so I, I don't want to put anybody on blast, right? But the um, longest couple, did they have um, good educational backgrounds? You know what? You know what? Say, I was about, I was, I, 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 I figured. Had they had master's degrees. But, they but they're not masters. He to, was to, a little bit of a late bloomer. Boom, so boom, boom, boom. He didn't, he hadn't had sex until probably 25. Like, no, it wasn't quite 25, but it was college. 23. College. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, You're losing people, your virginity? 
a man losing his virginity. That is kind of late. Wow. He th- and this was a term. In New Jersey is late. I would not use that term. He used the term late bloomer because um, he he waited until like the end of college to have. Shout sex. out to him. And Wait, was it like a church thing? No, it was just like he didn't know what to do. He was he was, he, he tim- was just, intimidated by yeah. the woman. And his his wife was very well versed in sex. Uh, How did that even? I happen? told you what Opposite happens, guys. Opposite attracts. No, it's called being taught. He was learned. Look, because. Oh yeah, I love a good teachable moment. Um, that's what I call it. I got that from when I taught a sex ed program for high schoolers. I would teach them about sex ed, and then they would teach younger grades, right? Um, and so it was called teachable moments. You share an article, a erotic novel, maybe some porn, um, an audible, whatever it is that turned you on and got you excited. You share that with your partner and be like, hey, what do you think about this? I saw this and I was curious what your thoughts were. And then that helps you gauge their level Where of they comfortability are, yeah. with it. Um, and if they're good to go, you'd be like, oh, so I would like to try this. How about we do this one night? Um, and if, like, no. No, no, not you. Not you, not you. Oh. I'm talking about like the dude, the girl, be like, yeah, I saw this in a book. No, you didn't. <laughs> I mean, you did it before. <laughs> yeah, no, you didn't. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, like. A lot of times that's what happens, either, though. Either your homie you told you. I love erotic mo- novel. I love a good, you know, not a Fifty Shades of Grey, but like something a little bit kinkier, yes. Kinkier. Yeah. But, okay. you know, you, you ask, you share it with them. If it if they get a little turned off, like, uh, I wouldn't really like that, then maybe that could lead to a deeper conversation about, okay, so what about this don't you like? Because I don't like to say why. I don't like to ask why. But what about this kind of turns you off? And, you know, that can go to a deeper conversation as well. And if it really is something that you really want to try and you can't, like, you can't move past it. That's when you hire a therapist. You hire some professional to help you kind of discuss some of these. I issues. feel that because, like, if you don't want to get choked, and I gotta choke somebody. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 I gotta be choked. <laughs> so, like, I need my hand around your neck. So yeah, that's, so that's a deal breaker for you. A guy that don't like to choke. It's not a deal breaker, but like she said, it's something we gotta work through. But I'm just saying, like, it's one of those, like, like for instance, say a woman who's like, yeah, I'm just not really into giving head, you well, know, no, like. not going to work. What, no, but but no she may. There's no therapist for okay, that. Okay, well. Because she said it. I'm not here to well, change could, you. Well, could you talk about, like, what, what about giving head? About it? 